I'm Noah, and you're watching Erie Extreme. Hey, Nate. I got Terry, Bree, and Danny here. What's up, Nate? Oh, it's crazy as always. Sitting here analyzing brute force, simple recursive, and randomized algorithms. Boy, the methodology and linear program is complexing. You know what I mean, Dave? No. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just trying to convert obscure problems to a simpler and better known problem whose complexity is not dominated by the resulting reduced algorithms. What are you up to? Nay. Will you please tell us the challenge? We need the challenge. Yeah, hold on. Remember the challenge? Okay, this challenge comes from Terry from Mercer, PA, who's only been fishing for four years. Terry challenges you to put down all the high-tech fancy toys and beat his personal best fishing day ever, which would be 26 total bass in a lunker of 5.2 pounds. No, I don't think you can do it. The catch? You have to beat this challenge by going old school, fishing from a kayak. You have just four hours to complete this challenge should you choose to accept it. Good luck. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think you can do it. How many fish is that per hour? Ten. No, it's like 12. <laughs> well, I don't say not to do it, but I don't think you're going to succeed. Can you do it, Tori? Yeah. I can't. What are you talking about? I can't. It's a thing called work that gets in the way. Yeah. Can you shoot tomorrow? No. Two no's. Perfect. I don't have any hooks. As soon as I heard this challenge... Okie doke, I'll call you when we get in the car when we're headed down. I knew exactly who to call. His name's Noah. He's king of the guy. Okie doke. Alright, bye. We throw all the gear in the car and meet up with none other than Uncle Terry. I'm a beautiful dad. Who forgot he don't work on Saturdays. And since Danny dropped out at the last minute, Terry's memory loss is going to work in our favor for once. Noah! How's it going, man? It's going good. I hope you brought the ark. We're in rain right now. That's the bad news. Oh yeah, every time we film, if it's sunny, there'll be this mysterious cloud that just kind of drifts over the landscape. While I look for this, and while you turn the air conditioner on, I have no. You know, it's 60 degrees, it's 56 degrees. Yeah, but I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, we get in here. Sorry about that. Man, I can't believe that. We're in season two. That's not supposed to happen. There we go. You stay right there, bud. You don't know who Maurice K. Goddard is? I'm not from here. What are you talking about? Where are you from? I'm from New York City. Well, that explains it. Really? I've known you for over a year now, and I didn't know you were uh, well, if you ever one of them. Uh, went on the website and read the bio, you might actually know where I'm from. Man, I'm cold. <laughs> those scissors at? Okay, this is our exit right here. Sandy Lake. Drum music, please. <laughs> Man, that looks pretty. State game lands. 803, this is it. Yeah, I'll call him. Noah! Noah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you parked up here on like a hill? Yep. How do you get down there? So we finally find the place, and there's Noah waiting on us. <laughs> Noah? Terry. Terry. Hey, hey Terry. How you doing, brother? So we've been talking on Facebook and... I've been trying to get you in a kayak for a while. I know, it's been a while. <laughs> and uh, just out of pure coincidence, we got a challenge to do something the primitive way. Does it get any simpler than this? No, this is awesome. We're going fishing for Micropterus salmonius in a Kajak. I used to own this lake. Did you know that? <laughs> but uh, I've never been past these signs. When you get past this area, it is a huge stump field. So, the guy's name is Terry that gave us this challenge. Okay. Same name as you. Hey, lucky guy. <laughs> I had been looking forward to this for a really long time. All right, what do we have to do? Terry challenges me to beat his personal best day of 26 bass. You know, Dave. And a 21 inch lunker. He just rolls up late. It says 5.2. Okay. Uh, He's excited to be here, but not really. The catch, you have to do it from a kayak. That's why we're here. But he came, so, you know, that was cool. Terry's been bass fishing for four years. You have just four hours to complete this challenge should you choose to accept it. Wow, let's do it. All right. If you put a motor on a kayak, which you can do, you have to register it. But since none of these have motors, you can get a launch permit, and this will get you on any PFBC launch. What is that? That's a Rapala. Do everything tool. Like Multi-purpose craziness. That's pretty sweet. He um, said guys were coming in, you know, nice bags, 18, 19 pounds, and you know, it was pretty tight. Where? Here, you come in. 
26 pounds. I don't know. All by yourself. So is that why you said you own this place? It's always fun doing things that you've never done in your life. Oh gosh, I hope I don't flip over. That's one thing people don't know about me. I'm afraid of water. Hold on, Steve, you want me to tackle? Oh yeah. Whoa, nice. What? Fish jump? Something yeah, jump. something chasing some bait out there. Cool, count it. Number one, 25 more. I think it should be just you. So I gotta catch 26 yeah, by you myself? Gotta, you gotta do one thing first. You gotta turn that paddle around. Oh really? Yeah, this way. It's got a paddle on both ends. <laughs> Can you read Are what you that's... trying to be funny? No, no, I'm not. Seriously, you want me to turn it around? I'm, I'm dead serious. Yeah. Like this. Like that. Did you have to paddle the wrong way? The good thing is I don't care how dumb I look. Really. I'm you don't past, look, but you don't look dumb. I'm past all that. <laughs> Terry, on the other hand, oh, well, on. he obviously don't care. Oh, look at how cute. Just one guy helping another. His wife's not here, so... <laughs> she, she wouldn't help me, please. <laughs> I'm not saying that in a bad way, huh? This is like uh, putting my kid in his car seat. I should put the jacket over this, right? What did you do? No. Just in case I have to guys really can't No, the you'll jacket. die. It won't freaking yeah. blow up. It's got to get wet to expand. You could pee your pants and it'll blow up. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm gonna. I gotta watch the master for a little bit. Heck no. Why would I do this? I got a 250 Mercury. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You're moving along pretty good, Dave. I think it'll be easier with the wind on our backs, especially for the novice. <laughs> Who's that? That guy over there. I don't know where he went. I just seen him a minute ago. I don't know why. I just got a bad vibe. You get a bad vibe about today? Yeah, I don't like the weather. The last thing you want in a kayak is uh, pretty heavy winds. I say we just go to the bridge, start okay. there, work our way back, catch 26 real quick, all day, go get some food. Okay. So how long were the uh, how long were the fish you weighed in in that epic tournament? How long? Yeah. I have no idea. The kayak tournaments, like, is there a lot of strategy? The way it works is your fish have to be in by a certain time, and then you've got to be back to a central meeting point by a certain time. Huh. I see lily pads. Oh, I do too. Wow. I, I feel better than I did a minute ago. I like you this. You do? Yeah, so look at this bank. I mean, it's a perfect way to stay out of the wind a little bit with the kayak. I can't believe I'm in Pennsylvania, like within 100 miles of my house, and I'm on and water you, where I've never seen before. Yeah, I've seen so much new water since I started kayak fishing. It's just amazing. I can see how you could get pretty addicted to this. Season two of Erie Extreme is presented by Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, FishingOnline.com, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and by Visit Erie. 1230, right on the button. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. First cast. Let me turn the camera off. Oh, got one, got one. Really? No way. The first cast. What? First cast, no. Come on. Dave actually caught a fish. Oh man, I gotta learn how to. Okay, he's gotta be in the boat to count, and I'm drifting. Okay, here's my first kayak lesson. <laughs> I'm drifting, that fish like pulled me toward the bank. Yeah? Can you imagine what a 20 incher does? Dang, I wish you would have been rolling. First cast. That's one. That's one. I mean, you've, you've got 25 more to go, that's it. Seems like nothing. There's one. The challenge is really for Dave to catch a 26 fish. Bigger than yours. Um, but when you're out there with one other person, it's tough not to compete, you know. One on one. Dude, I'm beating, I'm beating Dave the Fever. What's up? So, Dave got the first fish, but guess what? Now I'm beating him. So, in the kayak game, this is basically the, the standard board. So, uh, 14 incher. Hey, on the board though. Man, it sounds real acoustic over here. I almost want to break into a song. I'm no stranger to the rain. As fun as this is, it's not about having fun today. It's about <laughs> catching 26 bass. You said I could stand up in this thing? Now all of a sudden I'm spinning around in a circle and I want to be facing that way. No, oh, it's a nasty day. You gonna go that way or this way? I don't know. I wish we could go both ways. Time's ticking. What, you want to separate? Yeah, until we figure out what's going on. Okay. This sounds good under here, don't it? I Maybe think we should just do the whole show under here. I think the 21 inch is up here. No one! This way. I've fallen into the world! This is way too peaceful. I need chaos. Got one. 
Oh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh, I lost them. Nothing makes me madder than losing a big fish. It was in the five pound range. We're having a pretty good start to the day, but beating the hardest part of the challenge already sure would have been nice. See, I'm spinning around. It's really hard. For my attitude, like the way that I am, I would be so mad from spinning around. Like my spot, I want to cast right there right now. Too impatient. And I'm facing that way. I mean, it was like, you know, one of those ones that we would have just crapped our pants. Terry would have peed himself and his life jacket would have blew up. This is way too comfortable to be called fishing. Oh, got one, got one. I got a real one this time. Oh yeah. Hey, is there an abbreviation for kayak so I don't have to say that big long word? Yak. yak. Bass in the yak, yo. Look out, Terry from Mercer. We're on our way. 23 more. It's raining. You know that, right? What road is this? Look out there, it's nasty. Rain, gloomy, windy. I mean, that's pretty much what you'd expect, right? I say we'd call an official timeout. I technically should catch one here. Got one. <laughs> I told you. That's four total. What? What are you talking about? You caught three? I think he's lying, don't you? Anyway. It is really cool to get to explore new water. This looks really good right here. Can I fish right here? <laughs> oh sure, yeah, I wasn't fishing there. That's okay. There's lily pads, standing timber, and big fish swimming these here here water, so. You want good one? I hear Noah yelling. I couldn't see him, but it was funny to hear him yelling from the well. Did he catch one? Ah, uh, not real big. Yay! I caught one. All right, got one. Oh yeah, Noah's got another one. Good one? He's in the weeds. I think he's pretty good though. Yeah, he's good. He's on fire, but I'm hooked up too. Holy crap, man. Yeah. We got us our first double. Better than good. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Not as big as the one I caught, but it's pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hold he's him up. about, he's 17, 18, I'd say. Nice. Noah caught that one on the stump. There's a million stumps in here, so hopefully it wasn't a fluke. See if we can duplicate it. Keep on trucking. Something crazy's fixing to happen. Follow me, boss. Okay, I gotta do some math. 26 bass in four hours is what? Three an hour? There's one. Big one. Big one. Oh! <laughs> he got off. Oh, man. Was that a good one? Yeah, it was like a three pounder. He got tangled around my rods. I got two rods hanging up there. I missed a huge fish on that fluke. Tried to eat it twice, just kind of bumped up against it. Unfortunately, didn't get that one in the kayak. Could have been that 5'2", that 21 incher that we were looking for. Man, my back hurts. Uh-oh, see this is how you lose them when you're in a kayak. Too many things going on. You need to learn how to set the hook with one hand. How can there not be one there? He hasn't caught another one yet either and he's fished like 10 stumps over there. I cannot believe the bite is not better. I just missed another one. I'm gonna catch him this time, girls. That's the biggest tree in Lake Wilhelm right there. There's one. After missing so many, it felt really good to finally hook into a decent one. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's my first my first real bass in a kayak. That's almost a real one. I am Yak Man. Caught him on a Cinco. That's my fifth fish today, but my first semi-decent one. Oh, yeah. Man, there's a gazillion stumps in here. Look at them all over there. Stand up, stand up and paddle your way. Come on, Dude, stand I up. Be careful, I don't flip this thing up. You know, all day, I wanted Dave to actually act like a professional bass fisherman and stand up and fish. Whoa, that ain't happening. Come on, just stand up with the... <laughs> there will be no more standing. <sighs> That's what chairs are for. Follow me, boys. It's hammer time. Without depth finders, you are stuck fishing stuff you can see. Hey, bud. What's up? Can you back away just a little? We're fishing and filming right in this area. I'm sorry. All right. Hey! You know I'm kidding, right? <laughs> First of all, I don't call people bud. Hey, bud. I thought you guys were doing something official. Ass? Official? You really think I would do that? I don't know. I'm hurt. You're a powerboat guy. What do I know? There's two parts to this challenge, so it'd be real nice to at least knock one of them out. Weather killed us again. I'm not giving up. Is it raining over there again? I fished like 
300 days a year probably or more and I've never felt the arm pain that I have right now. I can make all the excuses in the world. I can tell you exactly why we're not catching them. It's all because of the weather. 26 fish seems like a lot right now. <laughs> <I know>. Thinking <laughs> about counting yours. No one will ever know. How many did you catch? I think six. How many do I got? Five? Still 26 seems like a lot. Yeah, I feel like if we find a lot of fish, they're gonna bite. I think we should be closer to the real lake, you know? I agree. It's panic time. We can still do it. Yeah, we got some catching to do for sure. Oh, come on, we need a miracle. I'm Terry Olson, and I eat raw sausage. How you guys doing? For some reason, I feel like an Indian. Come on, 15 fish probably live right here, right? I don't have any idea. At least we got... Dude, I'm gonna flip this thing over. I just missed another one. You're, you're not Look, gonna... he ate my tails off again. I just need to stretch my legs for a second. Oh, ooh, it looks like a bad storm coming. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a doozy. There's a couple of F5s in that deal. Not much time left. Got one. Look. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What happened? Why? What? That was a big one too. Oh my gosh. That's like eight that I've missed. We gotta talk about your hook set. Dang it. Dude, they're biting my tails off. I had three different bites here and missed them all. Running out of time. Awesome experience. Not gonna let failing a challenge ruin the awesome activity of it. Oh, it's so nice out here. Boy, we had two parts of this challenge and busted, lost both of them. That's bad. We did. It was a tough bite today. Yeah, it's the clouds. How many do I got? 25? I can't keep track. See, you watch other fishing shows. Here's a fact for you. They would just hook that bass up 20 times, keep catching it over and over. It happens. Not here. It is what it is. This is it, man. The end. We got to catch them. How many you got? Seven? Six, six or seven. Six. Seven, I think, yeah. It's time for your math lesson. <laughs> we only need 13 fish. There, there's a bunch of fish back in this I'm coat. following you. Yeah. Beautiful Lake Wilhelm. I'm feeling it. I'm going to catch 15 of them on that cast. It's an... <laughs> Don't you think 15 fish could live on that tree right there? Yes. Now the sun's starting to shine. I got one. Yeah. Here's some more great camera work for you. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. All right. What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? That's the trick. You gotta lay down and pretend like you're sleeping. That's number lucky 13. So what I did was I leaned back, relaxed, closed my eyes. Okay. And I felt my rod <laughs> That's what I do in tournaments. Terry, did you get all that? Yep. Did you get them hanging in the tree? Yep. Did you? Huh? I got them pulling them in. Did you see him even hanging in the tree? Do you even know what happened there? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I got all the footage. No clue. But that bag's a nice look. Is, uh, is Lake Erie your favorite place to fish? Not really. No. Where's your favorite place to fish? Right now it's this tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I'm on the better side of the bank. Dave takes off, he goes and fishes the shallow stuff. Is that our launch right there? Yeah. Oh, we got like 15 minutes left in the challenge. We're 100 yards from the boat ramp. 26 fish doesn't seem possible at this point. So we're almost in and I've still got the lead. Five pounder is definitely possible. Got one. He's going under the boat. Correction, had the lead. <laughs> Noija, chipping away. Man, that would be cool to just tear them up right here. This looks good. Dang, I wish we would have started fishing like right where we put the kayaks in the water. Whose idea was it to ride all the way across the lake? I say we just go to the bridge, start there, work our way back, catch 26 real quick, call a day, go get some food. Oh, there's one. Dang it, got my bait. I set the hook too quick, I think. This is so nice right here. We put in right there and we paddled two miles and we should have stayed right here. We're out of the wind. I think I can catch them on this deep, see that deep point right there? I hate losing challenges. And this one honestly felt like it was gonna be an easy one. We're starting to feel the pressure. I drift into the trees. I look over, Noah's snagged in another tree and we'd have 26 by now if I'd quit missing everything. Dang it. Is that your mom? Uh, no, she's not <laughs> going to pick me up for another hour. <laughs> yep. 
Embarrassed to get beat by an Elite Series <laughs> pro. What a perfect ending though. You know, you take that lead. It's almost like someone scripted it that way. How much time we got? Not much. Time's almost up. We're both fishing our butts off, but uh, we pretty much accepted the fact that we're not gonna be able to beat the challenge this time. That's okay. Caught some fish. You're giving up. We still got 17 seconds. Yeah, I know, I know. One fish a second and we win. It could happen. Up, oh, now it's a little bit less. Now we're down to the wire. That's it. That's Over. it? But no, seriously, dude, fun as all get out. Did you have a good time? Heck yeah. Awesome. So it's official, time is up, we've got to call it. So we bring the kayak back in and uh, call it a day. All right, I guess that's it. It feels weird though. Normally it's not fun when you lose. I, I like doing well, this. Well, it's different, right? Now that I got a taste of it, you've been trying to talk me into doing this for how long? Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, you're Can't welcome. wait to do it again. Thanks for spending the time uh, with me. It was a pleasure introducing you to kayak fishing. Why am I in so much pain right now? Because of your life jacket and because <laughs> you know why. No, I don't. But you didn't stand up. That's really why. Whoa, that ain't happening. I think so. It makes no sense. They're different muscles. You know, you used to standing up in that big bass boat. So Noah talked me into fishing a big kayak tournament on the next episode, and I promise I will be standing up. I'm gonna die. I'm hungry. Can I go? Okay. To keep up with Erie Extreme, like us and subscribe.